If you've never heard of Austin, Texas before, if you've never been to Austin, Texas, then you're probably wondering what all the fuss is about. So Happy and I are gonna break it down for you. When I first moved here from New York City, I honestly thought that Texas was all desert and it was full of cowboys and snakes. <laughs> Sorry, but I did. And then I got here and I realized that it's full of greenery and there's water everywhere. And I'm a water person, so I love it here. So I'm gonna show you the top five places, according to me, that make Austin amazing. The first place is Zilker Park. Spanning 351 acres, it's almost half the size of New York City's Central Park. This park feels massive, and it's a beautiful spot to hang out at with the city skyline backdrop. I'm usually playing volleyball over on the sand courts or hanging out with friends. This is a super active place. People are doing everything from sports to hanging out with their dogs. It's great at night as well. We have a really beautiful sunset. Zilker is mostly known for being home to Austin City Limits Music Festival, as well as our December Trail of Lights, which is this beautiful path of lights. They light up the trees and they have a Ferris wheel. You can get a drink, get a hot cocoa. It's kind of like when my mom would take us around town to look at Christmas light decorations. It's like that, but better. Sorry, mom. The second place is Barton Creek Greenbelt. So what's a green belt? It's the woods. And it's just nature that's been preserved so that no development can take place. And Barton Creek Green Belt is hundreds and hundreds of acres with miles of trails running through it. It's amazing. Oh, and did I mention it's in the heart of the city? Just south of the river. This is one of the trailheads. It's actually right here next to Zilker. And it leads you into the green belt. It's sweet serenity away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Just there's also Barton Creek, which when it's wet, has this beautiful green and blue water, perfect for a swimming hole. So this green belt attracts rock climbers, swimmers, runners, walkers, hikers, and dogs are allowed on a leash because, yep, we have coyotes. It is that massive that it's, it truly is wild nature. It's divine. Can't wait for you to come and see it. The third place is Barton Springs Pool. This is one of my favorite places in Austin. This is basically a majestical, magical body of water. It is three acres in size, and it's spring-fed by multiple springs, so it's about 68 to 70 degrees temperature year-round. What's really fun is New Year's Day, we do a polar bear plunge. It's actually not that bad because the, the air is colder than the water. Sweet, huh? And then off of the pool, there is Barking Springs Pool, which is for dogs. It's the runoff water and it's not fenced in, it's free, so all of the people with their dogs go there. It's beautiful, definitely come and see this magical place when you get here. I love it. The fourth place is the Roy and Ann Butler Hike, Bike, Trail and Boardwalk, right here. It's 10 miles of trail that traces the outskirts of the Colorado River and it offers beautiful nature scenes, scenic views of the water. It's just gorgeous. I love all the trees and I love the bridges over the little creeks. It's a great place to feel the community vibe of Austin. I love it. Sometimes I'll see someone on one side and then I'll see them on the other side again and I'll wave and smile like we're friends. It might be one-sided, but it doesn't matter. I'll wave and smile at you all day whether you like it or not. <laughs> The fifth place is Town Lake, aka Lady Bird Lake, aka the Colorado River. So let's set a few things straight. It's definitely not a lake. <laughs> Take it from someone from Minnesota, the land of 10,000-ish lakes. We round it down because we're modest like that. This is not a lake. Technically, it's a reservoir. But this is Texas, and they don't have a lot of lakes, so let's just give it to them. The reason this is called Lady Bird Lake is because in 1960, the Longhorn Dam, that away, was created and the Town Lake Beautification Committee began beautifying this whole hike, bike, trail, Town Lake area and it was headed by Lady Bird Johnson. That's right, the wife of LBJ. And that is why it's called Lady Bird Lake. But originally it was Town Lake, but it's Lady Bird Lake now. It's not really a lake. This lake only allows non-motorized vehicles, so you'll see kayaks, canoes, paddle boards. It's actually illegal for us humans to swim, but our doggos can swim. However, 
there's a toxic algae that sometimes comes into season and it can kill your dog. So huh, pay attention to the news to safeguard your pups from harmful water conditions. There are many different places to land your kayaks and canoes. There's also different rentals. So you can go park your car, get a rental, and then head out on the water. It's beautiful. I actually come here on 4th of July on my paddleboard and they, they show the fireworks right here, or actually right over there. It's great. And then we all paddleboard back and it's nighttime and we're howling and it's Austin and we're all sort of just kind of on the water and wild. It's, it's great. I, I love this city. So that's it. The top five places that make Austin special, according to me. <laughs> Although I think we need to retitle it Happy's happiest day in Austin, Texas. <laughs> so like it, comment, share, and we'll see you soon.